you hear the sounds of bluegrass back here on our back lot. This is uh, Mike Tater and the Virtual Strangers. They're with us on the back lot here because we're going to be talking about this upcoming bluegrass music festival. Hey, guys, thanks for coming down. Love the sounds. Uh, Mike, tell us a little bit about your, your group here and how excited you guys are for the festival. Oh, this is, we're, we're really, we are really excited. We may not look it, but we are. It's early in the morning. What can I say? <laughs> You're telling me a you get up at 3 a.m. Close. Uh, yeah, but um, tell us a little bit about your band and then um, the big festival coming up. Okay, my band, Virtual Strangers, have been in San Diego. We started, actually, uh, our first gig was uh, September 20. 2001, right after the okay. right after the World, uh, World Trade yeah. World Trade Center, yeah. And we have we've had a couple of personnel changes, but uh, and there's some other things going on. A couple of us have moved to Tennessee, and okay. a couple of us still stay here in San Diego. Gotcha. And we've had some, again, like I say, personnel changes. Yeah. But our festival has been going on for 19. Actually, this would have been the 20th year, but we had the COVID oh, thing sure. going on. Okay, so we'll call it 19th. So, the 19th year. Um, and, and wow, a good run. And it's all things bluegrass, but it's not just the music, right? The festival offers a lot of good stuff. Oh yeah, we have we have uh, we have workshops. We have a kid, what we call a kids camp, and we take kids from six to 16, and we teach them how to play. A little tune on on uh, so. instruments, and it, it, it's a couple hours a day, Friday, Saturday, and on Sunday, uh, they get to play on the main stage. So we have a special half hour set for the kids to play, and you can always tell the parents in the group because there's this huge smile on their face. <laughs> I love and, that. And we've had a number of kids come through our camp. Okay. And uh, one of the ones from San Diego here is actually playing. I'm not sure who he's playing with now, Hornsby. but Bruce Hornsby. Oh, no, His, okay. his name was John yeah. Mylander. Okay. And he went, he came through our kids' camp, and he was a good player to start yeah. with, but we just kind of honed him oh, in on some of the bluegrass. Oh, look at that. So you can just show up here, get to know some people, and maybe uh, launch your own career. <laughs> yeah. Love yeah. that. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this is just a traditional banjo? Is that what this is? Or this, is a, this is a five-string banjo, okay. and a little history behind it. It was actually made here in San Diego. No way. In 1981. The guy who made it moved to Afton, Virginia. He's retired now. Okay. The Deering Banjo Company is still here. Uh -huh. And Deering Banjo and Stelling had a kind of a relationship back in the early 80s. Yeah. But uh, the Deering Banjo Company actually loaned, not loaned us, they donated a banjo. So okay. we have a Martin guitar for, for raffle. We have a FERC guitar for oh, raffle. Wow. Okay. A new company who just came over from Czechoslovakia, I believe. We have a Deering banjo and we have an Eastman mandolin. Those are all raffle prizes. Awesome. We also have a, a banjo head signed by the great Earl Scruggs. Cool. And we have a Martin guitar signed. And it's a three-day festival. It's a three-day festival. it starts uh, tomorrow. It starts tomorrow. Awesome. Are tickets still available and everything? Tickets, yeah. you got to buy them at the gate. Okay. And they're 25 for Friday, I believe, 30 for 35 for uh, Saturday, and 25 for okay. Sunday. I want to step over here a minute. I, I noticed you chose an instrument that's almost the size of you over here. <laughs> what, are we, what are we dealing with? What's your name, young lady? My name's Yvonne Tater. Okay. And, and Tell us a little bit about this instrument and why uh, you enjoy playing it. Well, uh, I do enjoy playing it. I really didn't choose it because when I was in school, I was in the violin section yeah. in orchestra, and they said, we need a bass player. <laughs> there you Pluck go. Me out. <laughs> that was and you. So, yeah, I've just played since seventh grade. Awesome, and awesome. Yeah, it's just kind of stuck with me, and uh, my dad was an old-time fiddle player. Sure, so sure. So we played at family gatherings and contests and stuff, and then... I met Mike and yeah. Awesome. Just, yeah. Okay, and you're looking forward for, to the festival oh, as well. Oh, wonderful! Yeah. yeah, and it's it's a great venue. I mean, if you're not a play, if you're a player, you can also jam. There's jams out in the parking lot or awesome. uh, campground, but there's also static displays because this is a working farm yeah. kind of a thing. Okay, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right, Mike, remind everyone where they can go for uh, ticket information that will have you guys play us out. Uh, you could go to www.summergrass.net. Okay. And uh, look up on tickets. Everything's and that, there. It should be. All right, you guys yes. play us out. Okay, we're going to okay. take a quick break after about a 30 seconds here to hear some good stuff. Some <laughs> Side 